Hi, ho YouTube neighbors. Um, yeah, I'm standing for this one. Uh, what do we have on the workbench to die? Let's see. Hmm. Oh, we have a 16-ounce can of America-made swill. But, America. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Landa. Freedom, guns, and shitty beer. Uh, yeah, aside from all the microbreweries, but, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's better than a bottle of wife beater from England. Actually, no, it's not. Stella's good. Oh, what do we have here? We have... I, I've been wait. I, I've had this thing for damn near a year now. This is the uh, Haya Toys 116 scale. Uh, aliens. I don't know what the hell CM stands for. Uh, mm, no. Colonial Marines. Probably. Armored Personnel Carrier. Or the APC... From the best Aliens movie. I'm sorry, Alien was excellent, but Aliens, best one yet. Utterly, I mean, come on. You have an android whose blood looks like semen. How much better does it get? Well, well the, the android that android that died in the first movie also had the semen blood, but, but either way. Uh, Bishop was way more charismatic. Um, so either way... Yes, I've cut this open. I've already peeked inside the skirt. I couldn't help myself. It was sitting around for a while. Um, but yeah, cardboard. When is recycling day? It's every day in this household. All right. And the only way to properly... Ba-boom! There we go. All right. Uh, hold on a second. Let's dispose of that. The other piece of... Oh, double layer cardboard on top so you don't cut it. Or two collectability. If anyone noticed, it said 22 of 500 on my box. This is from the first run of the pre-orders for this thing. Um, one of these sides I had cut open already. Here we go. I really... Screw me, man. For 250 bucks, that is one unimpressive package right there. Yeah, really, that's it. It's just that. There's no other inner box or anything. We got some instructions. Wow. Talk about kind of whatever. Yeah, it's a price of admission these days for anything collectible is they don't have to give a crap. Uh, exquisite mini aliens, colonial marines... Cruise, Redding... None of these people were in the movie Aliens. Oh, wait. Hicks, Hudson... Hey, look, we got a picture of... The, yeah, power the power loader from... Uh, from Haya. It's also 118th scale. I'm not going for it. I already... Oh, you guys don't know what I have. Ooh, if only you knew... The magical special things... In Jewy Wonka's basement. Let's see here. Come on. Come on. Oh. Okay. Okay. Box is off. She's resting comfortably on the garbage can. Okay. Oh, look at this. I didn't even realize. We've got a little person. Look at this. Got a wee little marine. Oh, she's got a brown bess. Look at that. You got a brown bass. Oh, and a flame flamethrower. Flame unit. And a little... Oh, and a little... Okay, guys. What year did the movie Aliens take place? Now, not everyone on this chat watching this is going to be a firearms enthusiast, but that is clearly a 1911. Guess when they were designed? The model number should give you a frickin' hint. John Browning's still popular in the future with flamethrowers and brown besses and whatever these little I-beam things are. And we got... It's a metal grating, and we've got Redding. Who the hell is Redding? I don't care. It's it's probably from the video, it was a video game or something. Okay, come on. Everyone take a deep breath. I like to build kits, but when I can't build a kit, and it's only available pre-made, you know, and I have to have it, and I have to blow money, I could totally be investing in Bitcoin or something else that'll pay off in the future. I mean, this will appreciate. Actually, the newer pre-orders are already 40 bucks more expensive than this one was. Here we go. 
Ah. Plastic. In here we go. Okay. Nicely packaged. Arrived safely and unscathed from the lovely nation of China, who brought us other great hits such as uh, a big wall and a uh, uh, the horrible thing based on something that came out of a bat of the farmer's market from hell. Okay. So they've done some attempt at some a uh, little bit of muddy spatter weathering. All right. Uh, most of my tank people, they're the Sulaco. That's how you know it is from Aliens. Because that's the Sulaco. That is the marine ship. Okay. So what do we got here? Let's see. This does stuff. It does stuff. I'm going to sit down now. Hold on a second. Oh. Oh, yeah. She does things. Uh... This, this door slides open. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. No ball bearings in this sucker. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to try to RC it. Um, the little uh, schmageggy. Yes. That, that goes down. Just like in the movie. Look at this. Look at these tail... I mean... The, okay, the paint job on here is very basic. They apparently do have another model. Ah... They have another model like a flame thing and some more damage paint. I, I, listen, if I'm really feeling Randy, I am going to potentially dismantle and repaint this entire thing. Um, but yeah, we've got... Oh, look at this. So we pull this little fella out of here. Okay. And then... Look at that. we got our little... Let's just, just do this for now. See what we get. There we go. Uh, and down. There we go. Okay, so that's cool. That's pretty cool. Let's not waste the uh, the Chinese batteries. All right, let's put that down. And then uh, I think I already yeah I already pulled the battery tab out of this. So you flip this guy on. You got headlights and the interior lights. Let me turn off a light here. Uh, there we go. Hold on. There we go. Okay. There we go. I mean, not the most impressive lighting effects I've ever seen. Uh, but inside, a little chair. That one slides around. The little, uh, the little Great Adventure roller coaster bars. Yeah, those guys go up and down. Front seat does jack squat. A little handle up here. Ripley, you're just grinding the transaxle. Here's your stowage rack where all the guns go. And, uh... Does this... No. This is a piece of, like, uh, landing pad grating from the movie. That's that that's probably just for diorama-like things. Let's, let's kick these other lights back on. I can't trust the GoPro's auto exposure. And then, uh, oh, you want to get to the back seats? <clears throat> oh, come on. Okay. You know what? Let's run this guy back up. There we go. And now we have seating for another eight. Eight. Oh! That's a little shoddy. A little, yeah, this is, this is clearly made out of uh, uh, Chinese petroleum products. Okay, this has seating for another eight people who are about to die and have alien em embryos implanted in their chests. So yeah, this is, uh, there we go. Let's get her. All right, you know what, for 250 bucks, I'll be honest. <laughs> I mean, it's cool as shit. Look at this, let's leave that light on. Let's, uh, let's flip this guy on. Get these guys in here. There we go. Okay, we got headlights. We got the top searchlight. We got the big gun. There we go. Look at that. That's it's pretty nice. Okay. Oh, I'm a little underwhelmed. I mean, it's a it's a perfect 
geometric representation of the APC, but I mean, it's very toy-like. It's it's fine. You know, if you're a huge Aliens fan, you've got to have this. And the trademark is 1979, 2018 is when they started building this. I didn't get this until 2020 um, or thereabouts. Hiya Toys Co. Ltd. Made in China. Who would have guessed? Made in China. Um, but yeah, um, they got little. Uh, are those. Oh, look, the toe shackles in the front move. Okay, you know, there, there, there's some, there are some halfway decent details on this kit. You get these little exhaust pipes, like, there's mud, but why is there no whatever? Ru oh, look, wait, hey! For when you go to the McDonald's drive-thru in your APC, you have to swing that open, pull into the drive-thru, and swing it shut before you leave. Um, you know, the front machine gun, double gatling gun thing... That rotates. Uh, this definitely... Oh, this thing's screaming for a good paint job. But, that being said, um, you know, aside from, aside from the, you know, the, the year, the year of the rat on here, uh, yeah, this is pretty nice. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. She's all clicked down now. Yeah. That's a nice kit. And I mean, look at the size of this damn thing. She's big. I mean, this is, uh, what are the markings on this? This mat, 1 inch, 16, 17 inches, 18 inches overall on this, uh, this cutting mat. And with the rear end lined up perfectly, she's about 19 inches long. And, uh, quite easy to determine the width. She is, uh, about 7.5 inches wide. 19 by 7.5 a little smaller than the real thing. one eighteenth the size of it, in fact. But um bum There's my scale modeling joke. Ah, uh, did I already bend this stupid handle? Yeah, she's... She's a little delicate. This is not something you're going to give an eight-year-old and be like, Ah, have fun, Timmy! No, it would be like, Tim, Tim, Timmy! And then it would just get destroyed. Um, but this, this is pretty cool. I like it. It's very nice. Um, yeah. And I mean, come on, guys, it's aliens. Of course it's awesome. They got two different colors of mud. They got a light tan mud and a dark brown mud. Um, they've, they've done a halfway decent job of uh, weathering the tires, I would say. Uh, the rest of this, this thing definitely needs some, like... You know, this, it really does. I mean, it really, it needs a full repaint, to be honest with you. But, um, I gotta figure out how to... Listen, if a... Uh, no offense, I'm not making fun of a race or anything. But uh, if a Chinese factory worker can build it, I can take it apart and put it back together, generally speaking. Um, we got a few screws here and there. I'm sure we could figure out how to take her apart. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that might be a project here, is to uh, take this fellow apart and... Uh, I, might, I might just prime the damn thing. Uh, prime it, paint it, properly, whether it's streaking grime, you know, I don't know if the rust is appropriate, because, you know, this is a modern, futuristic, militaria-type vehicle, but it could definitely use some more weathering, like a lot of chipping effects. That's going to be the nice thing. It's a lot of metallic scratches and rub marks on the edges, all along all the hard edges, this thing needs, this thing needs some help with the weathering department. But this is bent a little. This is, ah, all right. I mean, listen. Still, uh, of a score of ten for a one eighteenth scale, um, you know, version of the armored personnel carrier. One eighteenth scale for two hundred and fifty bucks. Unless you're a sorry son of a bitch who's going to pay two eighty nine for it now. Or more from the eBay scalpers, which is a thing. Um, you know what? Worth it, but not worth it. Like, I love Aliens. I've seen the movie Aliens, like, I, hundreds of times. You know, me and my best friend, we were kids. We were watching Aliens every damn sleepover. And his mom was a really good cook, so I slept over his place a lot. And I also didn't own a VCR when I was a kid. Or a microwave. Or 
Don't start. I know I'm old. Um, but yeah, I mean, secure that shit, Hudson, you know? You know, it's like, you know, uh, was it how many hours? It was like, you know, 72, 72 days, 32 days, whatever it was from Hudson. You know, we're 32 days, 14 days. We're not going to last 14 hours. Yeah, secure that shit. We've got to secure this shit. This thing needs, this thing definitely needs some paint. It needs some paint. It needs a flat clear. It's too damn shiny. Even if I went and did it, like, wet and rainy style, like it was in the movie, because it was always raining on LV-426, yes, oh, yes, we're nerding out. Um, you know, uh, and honestly, you know, I, I, got, I got the movie on Blu-ray or something. I, I, you know, I could just watch it and freeze, you know, pause it and freeze it and just, like, you know, take photos of where the damage is and all these other things, and, and we, could, we could make this fellow look, look pretty spiffy. It's, it's a good base. It's a very good base. I mean, it's basically like building a Tamiya tank and painting just the tracks. That's that's pretty much the level we're at here. You know, it's whatever color was injection molded in, and we could we could match this color. Oh, my track my track black color might actually. You know what? Check that out. Look at the bottom of that bottle right there. That that would probably be a nice finish. Um, so yeah. Ooh, this this has a future on the bench, uh, but again, this was just an unboxing. That's it. Okay, so um, uh, goodbye, uh, Corporal Redding, with your bandana. He's articulated. A one eighteenth scale figure. This is definitely a little smaller than a than a you know three and change inch GI Joe. Oh, her knees are bad. She needs to go to the podiatrist or the orthopedic surgeon or something. Um, the, the the weapons being included is a really and the figure and the weapons. That's that's a sweet little bonus. I wasn't I didn't even realize and I already cheated and unboxed it uh, in the kitchen about a year ago. That's it uh, for the Haya Toys 118 scale aliens armored personnel carrier. And uh, they also know they did not put the sticker on straight. Oh, son of a bitch. Where am I going to get one of those? Eh. Eh, we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. All right. Uh, un uh, so, yes. Thumbs. Eh, thumbs. Eh, 45 degree thumbs up. Yeah, definitely. Uh, for the money. This was If this was 99 95 10 out of 10. Okay, you got a couple lights, but yeah, yeah, uh, eight out of ten. Oh, it's been a little generous. I really love aliens. I'm very biased, but okay, seven and a half out of ten. Yeah, that's it. We're done. We're done. Go, go away.